Hey, in this video, we're going to show you the difference between a standard event and a custom event, what specific ads you can use with each one of them, and which one you can use with the Facebook Pixel. Coming up. Hello there again, it's Carlos with Cepeda Media, bringing you the best digital media tips, tricks, and walkthroughs. And hey, if you're new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe to get more videos like this. Okay, let's get started and figure out the difference between a standard event and a custom event. Okay, so let's talk about the difference between a standard event and a custom conversion. So a standard event is an extra piece of code that you add within your Facebook pixel. You can customize the different parameters of the standard event. You can aggregate the current reporting on it. And they're compatible with dynamic ads. That's a big big key and they're compatible with dynamic ads custom conversions they do not require any extra code they're actually created within the ads manager by inputting in the actual url and targeting within that url so you can customize them with a url specific or specific rules within that url so you can customize them the reporting is completely separate and they are not compatible with dynamic ads so with standard events you can track specific actions aka events on your website the main ones that it comes within facebook are specific page views search add to cart checkout you know registration or lead capture so those are the standard ones that already come within facebook and you get a specific extra piece of code to put within your facebook pixel in that specific website page Okay, so here's a quick example of the code. And so here is where you would put the extra piece of code, the extra piece of the uh, standard event code within that pixel. So say if you're going to use the add to cart for the standard event, you would put that in your add to cart or your cart page within that pixel of your cart page. Okay, within the base code. And you have to put this one right before the script tag within the base code. So you see this right here, this, the script right here, you put this right before the script code, okay? So put each of those specific event codes within just that page. Again, if you're doing a search page, put that in the search page, that search code in the search page, add to cart in the cart page with custom conversions you can track conversion on a website so you just use this within the pixel that's already installed so you don't have to add any extra code it just tracks depending on when that pixel gets triggered okay there is no new pixel and there is no coding needed for the custom conversion okay so here's an example let's go through it here's your website and then we have to add a rule contains what so if it's my website or if it contains the slash cart or slash checkout, you know, depending on what the page name contains or the URL contains, okay, or doesn't contain or equals. But obviously if the name of your page is checkout and it contains checkout, then it'll trigger when it goes to that checkout so you can track that custom conversion and then so for equals to it has to have the exact URL okay it's more accurate but make sure you put the correct URL okay so name your category and then click what does this mean so if we're doing checkout it means that you know they added to cart or initiated checkout okay and you can also add a value. So this is sort of a way you can also track your ads. Okay, so now every time somebody goes to your website that has or contains the checkout, it'll trigger this and it'll call it one conversion. Okay, so that's the main differences between standard and custom conversions. There you have it, folks. If you have any other questions or you still have any confusion on them, please make sure to let me know in the comment section below. Question of the day. Are you using standard events or a custom event? Let me know which one you are using and let me know why. Make sure to put those down in the comment section below. As always, some of the best tips and feedback come from you, the Cepeda Media community. 
So make sure to get down there, start commenting and engaging with everybody else. Make sure you continue your digital media education by clicking or tapping on one of the videos right here. As always, Cepeda Media bringing you the best digital media tips, tricks and walkthroughs. We'll see you on the next video. Bye.